thing, which you know many of you are well aware of that, so you know we don't need to be told. But uh, if any of you have heard Thomas McCarthy, who's, who's oh, here, yeah. like what better testament to that can you get? And I'll probably sing a song I got that Thomas later. But one of the the old men that we came across, Willie O'Connor, uh, in New Ross, now right right down the bottom of Ireland and uh, the southeast in, in County Wexford, he uh, he's, he's he has such a, a presence, you know. He's, in his uh, early 70s, and he, I think, he doesn't sound like it, but he reminds me of an old kind of ranch man, an old cowboy in the Midwest or something. <laughs> he's real, has a real great presence, and he's got some damn good songs. Now, he sang us a few songs, but he also played recordings that he'd made back in the 80s on an old tape recorder, you know. And I said, can I copy those tapes for you, you know? <laughs> Didn't want these things to suddenly be eaten by the machine, like, you know, these 20 songs. And uh, he said, yeah, no problem. One of the songs he played me was just absolutely struck me, and uh, and I said to him when it, when they finished playing, I said, Willie, the next time I meet you, I'm gonna have that long song learned. Uh, I promise you that. I actually met him the next day. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect to see him the next day. We were just passing by, and I, hadn't, I didn't have it learned by then. But I met him at Christmas, and I and I sang him the song, and I said, Do you have Do I have it right? Does it get the thumbs up? He said, Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason it appealed to me so much was it's one of the most local songs I've, I've ever heard. Uh, I grew up on the Courtown Road in, in Gorey in County Wexford, and this is a song about Lord Courtown who lives at the other end of the road. You know? <laughs> and, um, and I'd never heard a song about Lord Courtown, I'd heard lots about him. Uh, he, was, he, was a real, he was one of the good guys, you know, back uh, uh, around famine times, he did a lot of famine work. And this is a song written in praise of this man for the famine relief works that he, that he did back then um, uh, along the, the Unavara River, which is mentioned in and a song in praise of him and in praise of the lovely town of, of Porto. And uh, hopefully it goes like this. Oh, happy our country man when season To hear the lark and linnet melodiously sing songs. Likewise the thrush on every bush are melting notes to ring to welcome home. approaching spring. The trees grow tall and handsome, the leaves with honey drew. And underneath the swan does swim with his long neck and stew. Likewise, the common angler with his long line and hook to convey the trout and salmon out of each charming brook. This Lord he built a car. So at the rising of yon hill, the works of it were marvelled on for its artifice and skill. There's a sort of stroke work with it that can ne'er be equalized. It embellished with green ivy that never fades nor dies. This Lord he sank a river more plainly to be seen. He sank it to a certain depth Fall fifteen feet full clean, 
the Straits of Gibraltar could ne'er more rapid roar than the Straits of the Univara flowing to the core town shore. One day I was amusing down by the core town banks. The sun shone bright and clearly while kind Neptune played a prank. For it was then I spied a most charming maid, most charming to be seen. In her figure she came bidding down, her measure maids wore green. There was Flora at the helm, and Aurora to the stern, and all our gallant fine seamen, their course for to steer on. I, being so much delighted, at her fine sails all o'er, I thought myself in paradise down by the core town shore. I have been in New Zealand and likewise in Peru. And of many ancient places, my eyes have took a view. But a fine a place as Core Town, my eyes did not yet behold. For it far outshines proud Mexico, for its banks are lined with gold. <laughs> <laughs> I guess at the beaches, because I've never found them. <laughs> now, I should mention that Lord Corton, who that song was written in praise of, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an honorary, uh, it's, a, it's an inherited title. And he was the fifth Earl of Corton. And his sons, 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 son, sitting right here. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't meet you any time. <laughs> 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 the, the current Lord Courtney. Yes. Thanks for thanks for coming. <laughs> <laughs> a bit nervous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I you can tell the truth about him now, James. <laughs> Now, we don't often get lords in folk clubs. Well, I... I'll tell him I'll talk about that. <laughs> You'll tell him better. Anyway. Go on off track now. I need that. Right. So to, so, to, so to give the balance, plenty of Irish people here saying, well, the lord who was in a wine part of Ireland wasn't as good as your one. Uh, and, and there's plenty of, uh, obviously, lords who, uh, who took advantage. And I'm going to sing a song about Lord Leitrim. And Lord Leitrim can't be here tonight. Because he, <laughs> he was such a bastard that they murdered him. <laughs> there was two lads hunted him down and bed him, bed him to death. Because uh, he used to evict people, like, you know, uh, for, for doing things that he didn't like, such as keeping goats. He just didn't like that, so he evicted them, you know. Uh, so, uh, so they killed him. And, uh, and this, is, this is Lord Leitrim. Uh, it's not entirely factually accurate. <laughs> there should be no fun for once. You. Oh. I'm starting out with the wrong fiddle, I think. <laughs> you, you, gentlemen of the shamrock, pay attention to me, Diddy. Be alive to your duty. Be wise and be witty. 
Keep your powder dry, and we'll make the tyrants fall. And we'll give them what Lord Leitrim got below in Donegal. With me riddle all the day right, fall the all the riddle all the riddle all the day right. Fall the all the re. It being on the 2nd of April, this old debaucher left his den. He left bailiffs, bums and harlots in the castle at Loch Rin. To make him and Kincaid, he'd give a hellish ball. Saying we'll tumble down the cabins in the county Donegal. Oh, me lord, I feel so terrified. <laughs> make me to say, for me mind it has foretold me. We'll meet Rory on the way. Well, his lordship then did answer in the presence of Kincaid. Of Rory or the devil, sure I never was afraid. With me riddle all the day right, fall the all the riddle all the riddle all the day right. Fall the all the So they both rode out together on that unlucky day. Until they came to Cretla Woods, near an angle of the sea. Ah, but Rory was there waiting, just hidden by a squall. All for to protect the widows of the county Donegal. When Rory seen him coming, his heart flee. And he gave three cheers for tenants' rights. Home rule and liberty, our maidens fair and Colleen's bond that are proper straight and tall. Twas by you they were sent o'er the sea, far, far from Donegal. Well, this monster's face began to foam, and his venom he did spew, and he roared out in a hellish tone, Sir, who the hell are you? I'm Rory of the hill, me lord, that makes his welcome all. To a hearty dose of bullet pills this day in Donegal. With me riddle all the day right, fall the lull, the riddle all the riddle all the day right. Roldy, roldy, re. Then make him cries, please spare our lives, Mr. Rory, if you please. Oh no, for when you lie with dogs, you're sure to rise with fleas. Well, the boys were laughing at the joke as they stood behind the wall. Saying we'll pepper em up with powder and smoke this day in Donegal. Then Rory gave the order, make ready, present and fire. At his old brain they took fair aim, and they hurled them in the mire. To avenge the joke, his head they broke, and his carcass they did maul. They stuck him in a pool, his head to cool that night in Donegal. <laughs> With me riddle all the day right, fall the lull, the riddle all the riddle all the day right. Fall the roll the Well, the polis men like bagels gathered round this dirty beast, and those divils all, both great and small. They had a sumptuous feast. He was dissected like a bullock down in Manor Vaughan Hall. And the devils at him rump and stump that night in Donegal. <laughs> With me riddle all the day right, fall the lull, the riddle all the riddle all the day right. Fall the riddle all the day right.